Welcome again to Cooking in Finland. In this episode, baked crusted sea bream or trout in a red wine sauce with wild mushrooms. Many people think that white wine goes with fish, but red wine is also very popular to use in fish sauces throughout the Mediterranean. I've made this many times with both trout and sea bream. Personally, I prefer trout, but others prefer bream. It's up to you. You will need dried porcini mushrooms for this, about 3 grams or at least 2 tablespoons. They're difficult to measure by volume, so use a scale if you have one. The first step is to scale and fillet the fish. You can ask your fishmonger to do this for you, but make sure that you tell him that you need the head and bones. Bream has a strip of bones that run down the center of each fillet. You can cut this out as I've shown here, but then you're left with two smaller pieces that don't look as good on the plate, and a trout doesn't have that issue. So the first step here is to prepare the broth. Put the fish trimmings in a pot with a chopped up onion, celery, carrot, and fennel bulb. Add a few black peppercorns, bay leaves, and the thyme, and enough water to cover. Bring this to a simmer for 20 minutes. Do not overcook it. Fish stock peaks in flavor at 20 minutes. Then cool it for a few minutes before passing it through a sieve to discard the solids. Wipe the pot out and return the liquid to the pan. Cook at a slow simmer to reduce it down to about 120 milliliters or 4 ounces. Do not boil it. Be patient. This will take 20 to 30 minutes. Now add half of the red wine and about one and a half teaspoons of butter. Simmer to reduce by half. At this point, you can save the sauce base and continue with the dish up to three days later. Of course, that works in a restaurant where there's always fresh fish coming in. If you only have the one fish that you're using for this, you need to finish it up later that day or the next day at the most. Add about 22 grams or three quarters of an ounce of butter to a pan and a little olive oil and fry the shallots and walnuts until the shallots start to turn brown. You can do this part in advance too. Put the dried porcini mushrooms, the salt, the dried basil, parsley, and ground white pepper into a food processor and grind until fairly fine. Now spoon the shallots and walnuts in along with a little of the butter from the pan. Save some of the butter for coating the fish later. Grind the cooked walnuts and shallots and the other ingredients. Scrape out the contents into a bowl with the panko or breadcrumbs and mix them together thoroughly. This is what the sauce looks like after it was refrigerated from the day before. Now that it's close to the time to serve this, add the rest of the wine to it and begin reducing it further. It's also an excellent touch to add about half a teaspoon of epizote to this, which is available in some Mexican grocery stores. It's not necessary. You can also add a teaspoon or so of Pernod liqueur. I'm using dried black trumpet mushrooms for this. These were soaked in water from the day before and then drained. Fry them up with some butter and olive oil and then drain them again before plating. During this time, preheat your oven to 200 Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit with fan assist running. Put some butter down on a baking tray. Then put the fish down and paint butter on it from the pan that the walnuts and the onions were cooked in. Press the coating mixture into the fish so that it sticks. When your oven is hot, put the fish in on the top shelf, close to the top of the oven. Roast for about seven and a half minutes, however, fan assist varies greatly from home ovens to commercial ovens, so your time may vary. Your sauce should have broken by now, which is normal. 
Put some down on a plate and then the fish on top of that. Scatter the mushrooms around and some parsley leaves. A sliced artichoke heart is a nice touch, but you can add anything you like. Roasted potatoes are popular too. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a member to get links to hundreds of other videos no longer available on YouTube. And as always, a huge thank you to all of my members. If you have any suggestions or requests, feel free to send me them. You have my email address if you are a member.